那我们考虑到，比如说这个 ，The Shenzhou 14 mission, like we said, is the toughest manned mission for us to date. It will last for six months, so we chose three Taikonauts the most suitable for it. They belong to the second batch of Taikonauts we selected: Chen Dong, Liu Yang, and Cai Xuzhe. And the three are all very diligent and careful, and they have great team spirit and friendship between them. And the crew received intensive training in more than a hundred subjects in eight categories before their mission, based on the new situation of constructing the China Space Station. Will there be any spacewalks, and how will they contribute to the construction of China Space Station? Ah, 就是神舟十四号。The Shenzhou 14 is the first manned mission during the construction phase of China's space station, and has great significance. During the six-month mission, the Taikonauts will test nine different formations for the assembly of the space station, change the capsule position twice, and conduct five dockings and three separations and evacuations. They will also coordinate with the ground to complete the construction of the space station. The crew will do two to three spacewalks using a combination of airlock module and big and small robot arms. They will, for the first time, enter the Wentian and the Mengtian space labs to unlock and test more than a dozen of experimental boxes and many others. And what experiences Chinese taikonauts have gained during their missions in the past year? And how are crew members selected? And should we expect any change in their lineup? After the completion of the Shenzhou 12 and 13 missions, the crews are in very good condition. Their excellent performances in orbit proved our effectiveness in selecting, training, and helping Taikonauts stay in space for a long time. Based on previous selection, we adjust our strategy for building the space station. We choose to establish crews with combination of senior and new Taikonauts to conduct the four flight missions from the Shenzhou 12 to 15. When we select astronauts, we consider their personalities and their compatibility with the mission and with each other. So far, the Taikonaut team of China has three cohorts. Some of them are from the Air Force, and some are space flight engineers and payload experts. Based on the needs, we will select new members regularly, and in the future, we will select the fourth and the fifth cohorts. And when can we expect to see international taikonauts on Chinese space station? And what are the requirements for such joint missions? And what kind of support that China will offer? Since 2012, in fact, we've been cooperating with the European Astronaut Center in selecting and training medical monitoring and support in space foods. We also send taikonauts to each other for trainings. Such exchanges aim for the taikonauts from the European Space Agency to come to the China Space Station. So we've been making relevant technical preparations and discussing how we should select and train. We are actively doing this, and many other countries, for example Pakistan, expressed willingness to join flight missions on the China Space Station. I believe there will certainly be a time for international taikonauts to come. You are always present at trainings, launches, and landing sites of the space missions, and you always show great care for taikonauts. Are you happy with what has been achieved in the past year, and what's your expectation for future missions? I think China's manned space program has been developing in these many years based on the three-step strategic plan. Step by step, we gradually realize the goal. I think we have achieved a fruitful result, and it's a breakthrough. And many people call you the nameless hero behind the heroes. Do you agree with them? I would like to thank these people, whether in China or other places, for their attention and support to China's aerospace cause. The hero behind heroes is, in fact, a big group of people. The taikonauts are the symbol of manned missions, while there are many others who are willing to help realize the common dream. And what advice do you have for young women, especially female taikonauts? For sure, I'd like to have more women join the team of taikonauts. I'd like to send my best wishes to them. I want to share my motto: that is, while we look into the starry sky, let us work down to the earth and make our life more brilliant. I want to share that with them.